If you remember our trip to Hyderabad this year, we drove a stage 3 Polo 1 litre TSI automatic and that car was pretty pretty fast but essentially there was something missing from it. You know, it didn't have the engagement, it didn't have the emotion or even the control when it came to how the power was delivered. Well, I think so I have the answer to all of those problems. This here is a Polo 1 litre TSI stage 3 but this one is with a 6 speed manual. Usually we go directly onto the performance side of things but I wanted to take a minute and just check the way this thing looks because I think so it looks absolutely fabulous. Now let's start from the front, it gets a Maxton diffuser which looks very aggressive. Of course you have this uh, wrap over here and the name is so long that I have to pull out my phone. So the wrap's name is called Avery Pride Prismatic Grey. Yep, and it looks absolutely fabulous especially under these lights over here it has this like iridescent kind of finish which looks super super cool but looks pretty uh, normal when it's on the road uh, it's only when you get close to it under a light you can actually see the different colors and you know the way it just bounces off of the light uh, you also have some really sick looking uh, Lenzo Venom wheels and if you take a peek behind the wheels you'll see massive AP racing brakes now these brakes are some serious serious brakes they're 330 mm brakes they're slotted and drilled uh, they look super aggressive they have steel braided lines four piston uh, caliper and they're very very powerful trust me i drove this car before this shoot and yep these are some powerful brakes a little bit of an overkill for a polo but i mean you can never complain for having a good set of brakes continuing on the brakes well if you look at the rear you don't have the usual uh, drum brake setup you in fact have a GTI conversion at the rear so you get this at the rear uh, continuing on the looks well you have this uh, spoiler at the rear and Q2 inspired tail lights as well overall I think so this is a fantastic looking car so let's not waste any time pop the hood and see what's underneath it this is the setup that this polo is running it's a very thorough setup I mean they've done I mean basically everything that you can possibly do to this engine barring probably an even bigger turbo and probably built internals or something like that. So let's start off with the basics. It has a BMC CDA carbon fiber intake. Uh, it has a bigger turbo, more on that in just a minute. Of course, it has an exhaust system which has been custom built by Speed Sports. So the downpipe, the exhaust and everything has been custom built by them. And one of the most uh, impressive things that this car has is the cooling system that this thing is running so if you know stock polos come with a water cooled uh, cooling system this thing has an intercooler uh, upgrade or a retrofit or whatever you want to say so if you look through this front grille over here you will see a massive massive intercooler and that basically helps the car run better you know give consistent power uh, and just basically not overheat or get heat soaked a very cool upgrade i mean basically no other one liter tsi i've heard of is running such a setup if they are well of course comment down below but very cool setup and these two massive uh, pipes over here that you see are basically for the intercooler custom plumbing done by speed sport uh, and it's a very neat job i mean it looks basically bolt on so yeah very cool setup makes roughly around 200 hp torque i'm not able to remember so if i remember it somewhere over here on top apart from that this massive cable that you see over here well for that i need to open up the boot so in my opinion the real party trick for this car is in the boot check out this audio system that the owner has fitted it looks absolutely fantastic and such a clean job uh, i mean i'm not really that much into audio so uh, i won't even know what i'm talking about but i'm just gonna uh, read it out for you so in terms of audio this thing has Moral Hybrid 602 components, Moral Virtus 602 components, a Zapco 150.6 amplifier, a Gladden XQX subwoofer, Alpine 850X digital signal processor, Pioneer 6350 Bluetooth if I'm not wrong and that's about it and it has these amazing LED lights in the inside and I mean, I have to say the audio in this car sounds absolutely fantastic, but I have no clue what any of this does basically, but looks fantastic and yeah, so cool. 
This Polo is running the bigger turbo from the 1.5 TSI Evo engine or basically the Virtus GT Tygon 1.5 Slavia 1.5 Kushak 1.5 engine. Basically something like upgrading to an IS20 turbo for the 1.8 TSI. Of course this is a bigger turbo which brings more power but with it being OEM the power delivery seems to be more linear than the RTMG turbo car that we drove in Hyderabad. Some things that we missed out on in terms of the exterior is the WRC front bumper upgrade. And one thing I probably couldn't explain properly is the intercooler upgrade. Stock Polo TSIs come with a charge cooler or a water to air system. What Speed Sport have done is change the system to an air to air system or a intercooler, which is better for heat management. Before we continue with this video, a quick word from our sponsor, the little men from above. Little astronaut wallets. This little wallet is slim, durable, sustainable and of course stylish. This is my personal slim bifold wallet and it is pretty robust. I have used and abused it for a couple of months. I've taken it on rides, treks and done quite a lot of bad stuff. I've even put it to my washing machine. But it still is in pretty good nick. It can hold... How much ever I drive these big sports cars, performance cars, there's something about a hatchback that is very, very fun and engaging to drive. And in Hyderabad this year only we drove uh, a stage 3 Polo 1 litre TSI, but that was uh, with the torque converter transmission and a different turbo. Uh, that was running an RTMG uh, turbo, whereas this is a completely different one. And that car, well, it was pretty, pretty fast. But the only thing was that you didn't understand that it was fast and moreover the gearbox and the way it drove just was a little weird I mean I'm I'm not a big fan of the six-speed torque converter that you get in these newer cars uh, newer VAG products and well that was something that I was not really happy with when I drove that car but switch out the six-speed torque converter for this a six-speed manual and well it completely changes the way this thing drives so much more fun to drive and moreover you have control over the gears the way the power is going and all of that in the torque converter the gearbox is so slow even if you click down the paddles you know it took a while for the gearbox to understand you oh he wants to change gear but in the six speed manual well everything is in the control of your hand and I totally forgot this thing has a valve tronic exhaust system so I have the key over here for that just hold it down and it makes a sweet sweet noise I need to sell the octave and get a manual again this is just too much fun and moreover Kashif, the owner of the car, well, he's left no stone unturned. I mean, he's done each and every sort of mod possible to this car. He's not left anything. AP Racing uh, brakes, they're slotted and ventilated. So the braking performance, well, it is absolutely wild. Not comparable to the K24 Jazz because, I mean, that thing was just next level. But 
it's still up there to one of the craziest breaking experiences that i've had in this trip so far uh he's also done uh, a conversion at the back so it gets gti discs at the back instead of your normal drum brakes moreover what makes it even more fun to drive is the suspension setup he's running gab or gab coilovers which are fully height adjustable rebound compression all of that good stuff so you can literally you know set it up the way you want it to and right now this setting is perfect for the city it's absolutely perfect and what i can't get over is the way this thing drives in the corners it is planted i mean you have no issues in putting down this 200 horsepower there's barely any wheel spin and it makes such cool noises on lift off yep if you want to go stage 3 don't do it on the automatic it might be a little faster whatever you want to say but if you want to go stage 3 on a 1 liter it has to be with the manual transmission and the cool thing is that since this is still a pretty small engine it's only 1 liters you get decent fuel economy even after so much hooning and the way i am driving it currently right now i'm still getting 10.6 kilometers to the liter and when it comes to the power delivery since it's a bigger turbo of course there's slightly more lag speed sport has done there best to uh, delete that lag as much as possible but once you're in the power band this thing moves <laughs> this is an awesome build and the owner of this car well he has like a 600 hp monster at home but still he loves small little cars like this he's a proper enthusiast This has to be one of the craziest 1 liter TSS that I've driven in quite some time and I mean we've said it time and time again if you're building a 1 liter TSI you have to go with the manual transmission it's so much fun to drive and I know this build is a little bit on the extreme side with all of the different different things that the owner has done uh, I mean it's a massive massive build to do all of these things as you've just seen but uh, this is definitely one of the coolest 1 liter TSI that I've driven and a big shout out to the owner kashif for letting us film his cars i think so we'll be filming a couple of uh, more of his builds that he's done he's a insane car enthusiast and he has a wide wide variety of cars so uh, stay tuned for that shout out to speed sport because they are basically the ones who built this thing shout out to ceramic pro rs shines as well over here in delhi because they've lent us their space to film shout out to driven also because they also helped us in filming this video so a big shout out to all these guys because without you guys it wouldn't have been possible uh so let us know your thoughts on this polo 1 liter tsi stage 3 in the comments down below would you do such a build or probably would you save the money and get a bigger engine and probably just do a stage 1 or a stage 2 on it let us know in the comments down below subscribe to the channel follow us on instagram and i'll catch you in the next one